Hitchhiking is the original sharing economy. Quando eu era mais novo, havia uma coisa muito bonita que era a sedução. take a shower at the truck stop up here I'm like a trucker without a truck I'm at the most empty diner in the history of diners it's got a good uh, Three hours of editing in. Now I'm headed back to my campsite to pack up my tent and then hitchhiking west. Finally just going west now. It's kind of cool. What's up guys? Uh, I just wanted to kind of preface some of this video here. I'm in uh, Columbia, Missouri in this video and I'm about to uh, hitchhike west through Missouri to Kansas City. Uh, the night before, in my tent, I was on Instagram. I was looking at uh, the Instagram of Colin Wright. And Colin Wright is one of the first kind of digital nomads to just document everything. He's a minimalist, he's an author, he's a blogger, longtime traveler. His readers, his followers, they vote every four months on where he's going to live next. He's been a huge inspiration for me from the start. I was on his Instagram and on his Instagram it says his current location and his current location said Columbia, Missouri. Might as well give him, send him an email. I sent him an email and he emailed me back and he said, yeah, me and a friend are meeting for Chinese food and, and gonna grab some beer, so. So I'm gonna hitchhike one exit over east um, to downtown Columbia. I actually meet up with Colin and we have beers, we have a, you know, some cool conversations. I meet his buddy Chris. It was just kind of really surreal to meet one of my idols, you know? He was, he's a, been a huge inspiration for me. When I tell people I'm a minimalist or that I travel around or something and live out of bags, there's certain assumptions that, especially if we haven't spoken or they don't know anything about me, then it's like, oh, okay, so you're, so you're living off of somebody, or, or so you're living right. off Trust of society. Trust Safarian kid. Yeah, something <laughs> like that, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And this is the same thing. Hitchhiking became unlucky. It became I mean, a horrible thing. It's one of the most like polarizing subjects I've ever talked about with people. You know, like <laughs> it's the most. It's the subject where I bring up what I'm doing, and they'll be like, "Oh, you're gonna get stabbed." Like a lot of people will just say something like that. Like you're gonna, you better like bring a gun, or like you're gonna get stabbed. You're gonna die. Like. People say that to me right outright. Right. If it bleeds, it leads. Exactly. That's what they say in journalism. And with the 24 hour news cycle, that's 24 hours of bleeding you have to put on the news. Mm -hmm. And that means going out and really digging up all the bodies and putting bodies there if you can't find any. There's something out here, and in Montana too, that I call the country gang sign, uh, where you're driving, at, especially out towards. House. When you right. go out to the places that are more sparsely populated, there's more of that community thing because if the roads are all ever frosted over, iced over, people are going off, these are the people who are going to help you. These are the people that are going to help fix your tire or vice versa. You're watching out for each other. Even if you don't know each other, it's just understood that. Kind of like being on the ocean or out in space or something. If somebody's yeah. having trouble, you're going to help. It's common human decency and this is what we do out in this place because no one else will help us. And so when you're driving, even, you have no idea who's coming towards you. You always do one of these. You give a little wave to everybody you Gangsta. see. Something that nobody ever tells you to do. But I, and I didn't notice it until I left. It was casually like, oh, you just wave. It's just polite. Yeah. Other places, it's weird. You know, they think you're, you're like signaling them or something like that, or picking a fight. Right. Out of those places, though, it's it's understood. And if you don't do it, you're kind of a tool. Like, why didn't that guy wave? Like, 